Hello again, this time making some baseboards for a kind of cyberpunk style city, and these are very quick and easy to make. So to start off we have some MDF board, and this is one foot by one foot in size. The MDF will provide the baseboard, then on top we're using some XPS insulation foam to provide some texture. And this stuff I overuse all my cyberpunk style stuff, because it has a nice grid on one side, and some wavy bands which look a bit like concrete on the other. Taking some regular PVA, and applying only 9 dabs over the entire thing to help reduce the warping, which is normally caused when the PVA contracts and then pulls one side of the board together. Applying a good amount of pressure so the glue gets properly squashed down. If you have any heavy books, this is a great time to use them to keep them flat, but you do need to watch out in case it starts gliding over the top of the glue. Now there is some annoying text on this part of the XPS board, so taking a wet file and sanding that away using a wet file so we don't get any particles up in the air and potentially into our lungs, which we don't want. Taking a knife, we're then going to trim the edges at an angle, and then use a felt tip pen to mark the rest of the board into rectangles and cubes, adding a few extra lines at a 45 degree angle so it looks sci-fi. This will make the thing look modular, I mean you can put it in various formations, and use various bits as roads or pavements as you want. Then matching the angle that we trimmed the edge at, we're going to carve out those grooves, so it makes them into individual slabs. Because nothing's allowed to be nice in my city, I'm then going to go in with a pair of clippers and a knife at cracks, dents, and various weathering all over the board. And you can go too far with this, but do what you want, it's your own board. There is no right or wrong way on the amount of weathering to do. One thing to note is in real life slabs normally end up chipping and cracking at the corners, so that's a nice little detail you can add. But if you want to add larger craters for battle damage or mortar fire or whatever, then that's absolutely something you can do at the stage. Just bear in mind you can't go too deep, as you are limited by the depth of the XPS foam. Once we're happy with the weathering, just applying a nice thick layer of black gesso all over, making sure to get all the recesses in the grooves and in the weathering cracks. Following this we take some ivory acrylic paint, and some spare packaging foam which we're going to use to sponge all over the piece. We don't want the paint to be too consistent, we want to cover everywhere, but we want a nice bit of natural variation in it. You might also want to leave some of the gaps and the crevices darker, because you get a nice bit of definition and it really makes those features pop. While waiting for that layer to dry, I recommend painting a bunny rabbit. With the ivory layer completely dry, we can move on to the black wash. So taking some black acrylic paint, using a sponge, and applying a good amount of water so it's highly diluted, we're just going to sponge over the entire thing, so we get a different concentration of black paint watered down all over the piece. Then going in afterwards with a cloth and wiping it off so it's not too dark anywhere. And you really want to just let the water do all the work for you and give you a nice texture that would be almost impossible to hand paint. Then we're done. Very quick and easy modular battle boards, or whatever games you want. I'll be using mine with Necromunda and Five Parsecs from home. Just showing it off now with a few of the other buildings I've made, to show how quickly you can set up a board, and get a nice versatile play area, that can be as clustered or open as you like. They also flat back, so the storage is very easy as well. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to catch you next time.